Oh, what's up guys, AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video. Um, today we're gonna continue the road to top 100. And in the last video, unfortunately, um, the, the my RPC screen froze actually uh, while I was at the end of the recording. Uh, so right now I am... I did hire someone to uh, recover that file for me because the file got corrupted because it got interrupted while I was recording uh, due to the frozen screen. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe if I upload this one as episode 2, uh, you will see the other one as episode 1. And that would mean that uh, the one I hired actually succeeded in... Um, actually su succeeded in recovering the file. But yeah. We're gonna continue the road to top 100. I'm gonna be playing this team. Uh, if you are interested in the team, the Poker Paste is on Patreon. Um, this is an existing team. I kind of copied it, but I did give it my own twist. Uh, used a bunch of my own sets. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna pause the video until uh, we find ourselves a battle. Okay, guys, 10 seconds before our next game. It's gonna be another tryhard game, so hopefully. We can pull it up. Um, last time I was facing two Sun teams in a row. I prefer not to play against Weather because uh, these teams are pretty weak against Weather. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the first game of the day, and he has a tent. I don't like facing a Rapid Spinner. However, I actually, still have Focus Blast on this High Dragon, so it works out against this team. But it's supposed to have. A different attack. I don't have Ice Punch on my champ, so I might just consider Ice Punch, but Sod is better against Reuniclus, so in that sense, um, it is helpful. But here, though, um, still gonna lead Skarm, even though he's a Magnezone. I have Sturdy, so in that sense, it doesn't really matter too much. Does lead Conkelder. And I do have a bunch of mods that can actually take this out. So what I'll try is um, set up a spike here. I don't care about this. Because now I get spikes and stalled rock up. Get my sturdy. And I don't know how fast the Tentacruel is. But I can block the Rapid Spin uh, using my Jellicent. And he goes into Gliscor, so if this is debug, I can actually taunt the guy. Which we're we taunting here. And this means I can get up an extra spike, and all these hazards are going to go a long way for us. Probably gonna U turn here. Oh, I'm not sure what he was predicting, but I'm gonna spike up. And this guy is definitely scarfed. And we'll spike again. As he locks himself into Thunderbolt. Get in the High Dragon now. He's Choice Scarfed, because otherwise my uh, my Skarmory would be faster. I can actually go for a Nasty Plot there. I will just uh, Focus Blast there. We do connect our attack. But with the nasty plot up, I can actually damage Tentacruel. I might actually st uh, st switch against Tentacruel though. But all this damage is super great against Conkelder. And I'll just go into Jellicent. I don't need to take the Mach Punch. I'm at plus two, so he should Mach Punch me. 
And he does... Okay. So we can just go for Hex. Just look at this. Damage. Nice. Oh, that damage is not nothing special, but... I can just call him. He cannot rapid spin versus me because I'm a ghost type. And what I'll try is just burn the guy. I don't care about toxic spikes. Like, I don't really care about toxic spikes. Only guard jump is affected. Um, my champ still gets the guts boost. I just need to burn him and then I can beat him down with hex. Because he's using Toxic Spikes, he might not be running, um... He, he, he might not be running... What's it called? I did burn him here. Um, Toxic. Because so, now I can beat him down with using Hex. He's using Scald as well. Would have been funny if I was actually, um... Water Absorbed. I look at this damage now. And we can just click Hex again. Because he's going to die to entry hazards. And my hazards will stay up now. Which is super nice. I would actually prefer him burning me. Our reason is because then I can switch out and not get poisoned. This damage is pretty good. Gowler's gonna take a shitload of damage. I need to keep Hydreigon for Reuniclus in case it's double dance. It's gonna skull there. Like we have a Colbert Berry. I get to see what kind of. Um, it's Joyce Bandit. That is Joyce Bandit, so. Just gonna skull there. First body, cr okay. Disabled. Get in scissor, because he's that was choice band damage. Had to be. Uh, sixty. He, he did sixty four percent. With, I'm actually caulking this. I were playing try hard, so. Jellicent versus Terminator, Terminator choice band. Crunch with a. The berry cult. Golber berry. Yeah, so that's 100% bandit. I can sword stance up here. It's gonna die to struggle. Now I have Scissor at plus two. That did it a lot though, that struggle. But he has to go Gliscor. And I can just go for the Bullet Punch. Oh, this is fine. I just keep bullet punching him. Let's see if he attacks me now. Nope. Because I can still knock him out with High Dragon. Does he roost on this turn? I just go high dragon now. And we just dragon pulse him. He might U turn. Toxic. Ah, but it's fine.
I could have Sword Stance on one of them, but I just needed to guarantee damage off on this guy. It's gonna mock punch me. And he's gonna be at that much HP. I go into my champ. This is why we have the facade. <laughs> What I'll actually do, I know Thunder Punch will kill him. Then I can facade Reuniclus. He's gonna. He, he might just spam. Recruit okay? Mark Punching Air. He might be max, it, max attack. However, I don't think he's running Roost. I can go Guard Jump and knock him out. Unless he's running Hidden Power Eyes. Which I doubt when you're facing Scissor. So a bit of a close game still, but he should not be able to knock me out. Sorry about the bad commentary, by the way. I'm tr really trying to focus. Yeah, let's go for Slice Shock. Trick Room usually doesn't carry... Um, Trick Room doesn't carry... Uh, get a crit there uh doesn't carry re recover that's why um it was really nice for us and that puts us at 729.85 and we're about huh. we're not that far off like 11 points so i'm gonna enter the queue and yeah picked up that w it kind of sucks he had a rapid spinner i'm surprised that he rapid spin on my uh jellison if i did burn at a tyranitar that would have been much easier on the first one or something <laughs> but that but that, at that at that point uh i didn't want to keep jellison glyscore was running toxic as well so he wasn't just running u-turn oh my com uh, my uh, my champ didn't have my uh ice punch that's why i couldn't really touch that guy I'm really considering Ice Punch, but I see a lot of Reuniclus these days. That's why I do like the facade. You saw how much facade did to that Reuniclus. That's why I chose facade. I have Thunder Punch to hit Jellicent uh, as well. And he has a ghost type here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're just, we're still leading Skarmir. If he leaves me in Shao, I can go into, um... Oh, you might just click Icicle Crash. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me get up. Let me Stealth Rock here. I'm faster than him, so he's maybe he's adamant. That's fine. I can get up a bunch of hazards. I think I do need the Brave Bird in case he's running Focus Sash, since he is leading with this mod. So I am Brave Birding here. Uh, to break the Sash. go jealous and the click scald because if I go scissor I need to predict but now I don't need to predict I can just go for uh, scald assuming I dragon or something comes in a ferret or it comes in I can burn him if I burn him uh, I can taunt him please burn him that would be nice don't get the burn unfortunately 
still clicking Tonto. Because he needs to connect Power Whip. And I can get the Curse Body on Power Whip as well. He has a Gyarados, so I cannot sweep with Scissor yet. Okay, I can pivot into High Dragon there. The Power Whip if he does have reveal it. If he goes High Dragon, I'm actually gonna stay in. Let's go for Power Whip. And I just wanna get rid of this guy. So, Power Whip. Does he have a Chirel? I'm clicking Focus Blast, I don't care. If goes High Dragon, that would be cool. Then I don't need Speed Eye if I can connect this. Nice, perfect. That's one less Mark Punch I have to click. And I still, got, I still keep my Hazards up as well. Baratorn is running uh, Power Whip, so we gotta be mindful there. Okay. How much is my Dragon Pulse gonna do? Dragon Pulse. Because Gyarados is a threat. Dragon Pulse does about 40. But I still have a Scarfer in the back. I think we just Dragon Pulse this over Taunting, because I do have Choice Scarf Jump in the back. What I even ca what I can even do is go into Jellicent on the Ice Fang. Wait, just Waterfalls me. Interesting. And now I'll go into Garchomp. Because I should take this attack. I'm Choice Scarfed. So Garchomp versus... There it goes. Cloud does... That much. I need to know what does more damage, Rock Slide or Dragon Clone. Rock Slide does more damage. As he switches out into Ferrothorn, and that's fine. Forced him out. Next time High Dragon comes in, uh, I basically aim something. And I, I don't take any damage, I can still use Garchomp to do damage on something. So we'll just go hard into my champ here. I think my champ is kind of useless uh, for Paragricus being around. Just gonna Thunder Punch uh, in case he wants to go into Kofagricus. Just get some damage on him. So I think Scissor wins uh, with me. Have okay. You're crazy, but it's fine. It's just for another one. Okay. He's crazy that he went for that play, but it is what it is. I'm taking close combat there. Probably going to go Pagricus now, but um, I think we just have to to take it. Because I can go High Dragon on this anyway. I still think at the moment I get rid of Kofagricus as well. It's fine. But I want to get rid of Ferrothorn so I can start clicking Bullet Punch on his team with my Scissor. Let's go for Whispear. Uh, it's fine. I don't lose too much from this. So I just Dragon Pulse. Right, he's already weakened. So 
Gyarados will be gone. This is the threat I needed gone as well, because I still have close combat on Scissor. So if I need to hit Ferret when I can kill him. Mian Xiao is low. It just sucks that he got the extra spikes up, so maybe I should have close combat it. We obviously keep this Mon and I go into my I jealous into here. By the way, Garchomp kills everything with Earthquake. So he needs to go into Mammoth Swine Air. Oh, nice. Earthquake is gone. Go to this. So I kind of want to bullet punch. But if he switches, he's going to die to hit my hazards. So I don't really care about this. I can click close combat there. Doesn't really matter. Because if Koferkri, if he comes in, he's gonna die. My thief. So I don't need to set up there. Because I don't want him lead cheating and switching. Not playing me on switches. Ferritron is getting low anyway. I kill this. Hey, Mammoth Swine cannot knock me out, he's gonna take hazard damage as well. I think I only got one spike up though, so I think Mammoth Swine is actually living. But I have a Scarf Chomp in the back uh, to clean up Mian Shao. Just, I just gotta get one hit off Uncle Fakir, because with High Dragon. I'm also not switching. He might be winning though if he if Miensha has fake out. I think I messed up at the point where um where he got to um Rocky helmets. Okay. Okay, this is actually good. This bullet punch still knocks out Mammoth Swine. And I got Mark Punch from um Mam from this guy left. So he luckily he luckily lives, but uh, I should not die to Ice Shard. So I literally go my champ here. And I should have enough HP left to take a nice a shard. So we just go for Mark Punch here. Knock him out. Perfect. Then I can sec High Dragon on the Mian Chao, so we should still be fine. Spicy as battle. <laughs> and if he's life warped, that would be even better. If he's scarfed, he's gonna speed jump, so that would be annoying. But he needs to click close combat anyway, so I'm gonna sack High Dragon. I can just knock him out with the Machamp. I don't even need to reveal the choice card from Guard Jump in case I face him again. Just in case. Well. If he is Scarfed, I think it's actually safer going Garchomp, because if he is Scarfed, then he, he's going to be at minus two. So I can just Earthquake him here, as my opponent forfeits. Because if he was Scarfed, 
um, and lives my mock punch I could lose. I didn't call it, but I'm pretty sure I would live. The, I, I would kill him at that point. I mean, but that's just me. I just went for this. We're, we're just going for the safe place. Uh, like we're trying to win here. So basically, um, I had a dragon left. I had my champ left, and I had guard jump left, right? So. What I did there was go guard chomp because if he was scarfed, he would knock out my guard chomp, but then he would be at minus two defense, and then I can just knock him out with, uh, with the mark punch. The thief on the scissor was really important as well. Uh, but the misplay I made this game was uh, predicting the Kofagrigas. Like even if he switched, it was fine. Uh, that extra hazard actually cost me uh, some HP on scissor as well. Oh, he actually added me. Oh, well. And yeah, Skarmory at the beginning doing the job, so... We're 17. We have 17 wins in a row now. We're at 732.60. So we're pretty close to uh, the top 100. Uh, so I will play some games tomorrow, and yeah, we... I really hope you guys enjoy the series, Road to Top 100. I, it has really been a few seasons ago since we did this for... The uh, the last time. I think we can get it in a few days. And uh, yeah, this team. I do have a lot on, under my control because we obviously have a lot of damage. But yeah, it is it is a bit stressful though, playing this. <laughs> because there aren't that many safety nets. Uh, but I hope you guys uh, like to see me play with this pressure. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. And check out the team on Patreon if you are interested in the poker based. But I hope to see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. And see you guys in the next video.